What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner, trying to make sense out of nonsense. And if you can see me, that's great, but I want to let you know that I'm not really here, okay? Um, I know that your eyes see me, and I know that your ears hear me, but um, I'm not here. I'm just a figment of your imagination, so therefore, um, you're not to believe your own eyes and your own ears or your own brain your ability to make connections, draw conclusions, all of that stuff. You're not, you're not supposed to believe any of that, um, according to the left, according to CNN, MSNBC, the Democratic Party. See, they must think that Americans are stupid. Now, the sad part is there a large population of them that are stupid. I hear them every day when they get out there and scream and attack uh, people in cars and bang on doors and break their fingernails off, trying to scratch to get in to the Supreme Court um, doors, things like that. When I see uh, them putting on black masks and, and yelling up at the sky and hitting people with bike locks and burning stuff and breaking windows, when I see those things, I say, well, yeah, you know what? There are a lot of them out there that are crazy. Uh, many of them are paid to act crazy. We know that. But this is what they're trying to convince us. By using information operations, by using gaslighting, and what that is, for those that don't know and are possibly a victim of it, is when the masses, the things that you rely on the most and trust, like, say, family, friends, or the news, or your leaders in your community or whatever, they all start telling the same lie over and over again to you to where you start to question your sanity your reality. You're sitting there going, well, man, I know I saw what I saw, but I just had 18 people say that was not what you saw. And after a while, if you're not careful, you start to go, well, maybe I didn't see it. I, am I going crazy? Am I losing my mind? That is gaslighting. It is let's all get together. Come up with a narrative. Say the lie so many times over and over again to where those that trust us to be the, the, the non-biased news media and the honest, upstanding Democrats looking out for the well-being of our constituents. Yeah, to where they start to say, well, if they're coming from those sources, they got to be telling the truth. So they believe it. Like, for example, they're now trying to say that these angry mobs of people that we've been witnessing for the last two and a half years are not angry mobs. They're now running interference for their buddies the Democratic Party, or should I call them the Democrats, all right, running interference for them because they understand that normal people walking around every day, even if you are a moderate, got a problem with people handling things through mob justice. And if it is now connected to the Democratic Party, people want to disassociate themselves from that type of madness. They start saying, look, man, I might not be a full-blown Republican, but I'm definitely not down with attacking people while they're driving, you know, uh, getting together, screaming at people, not trying to hear no facts, reasons, uh, just making accusations and just saying, let's have public trials. Let's just have public hangings. That's what they're doing. They're just saying, you know what? Whatever narrative we throw out about somebody we don't like or standing in the way of our agenda, we just want everybody to get on board. And if you don't, what we're going to do, we're going to scream at you. We're going to follow you around. We're going to call shame, shame. We're going to get all so close up in your face. To where you're tempted to smack me. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it's your fault. So now, yeah, I'm not an angry mob, but I am somebody that comes up in your face screaming to where little the sprinkles of spit is shooting out onto your face. And you in the middle of trying to go from one location to another. I'm blocking elevators. I'm following you up escalators talking about, talk to me. You're going to turn around and talk to me. And all of my friends and us, we're screaming in unison. That's what we're doing. And we make sure that we have a camera to catch it, to try to embarrass you, put you on the spot, all of that stuff. Hoping, hoping either you're going to succeed to us or turn around and say, why don't you guys just shut the bleep, 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 and up your bunch of bleep, bleep, bleep. And then we can furthermore go out and paint the narrative that you guys hate women. You guys hate blacks. You guys hate everybody and all of that stuff. That's not an angry mob. No, no. So, you know, uh, maybe I should just grab a whole bunch of my homies show up at some of these commentators' houses that's chuckling, trying to downplay these angry mobs that we're seeing with our eyes and our ears, 
Yeah, why don't we just catch Don Lemon coming out of CNN one day while he's tiptoeing to his car and we just roll up on him and be like, yo, Don Lemon, man, I heard what you said about Kanye West, man. Yeah, you better take that back, man. What kind of man? You a sellout, man. You ain't nothing but an Uncle Tom yourself, man. Yeah, see how Don Lemon reacts to that. You think he say, no, it's just a peaceful group of protesters just vocalizing their disdain with the way we're conducting ourselves in the media. That's it. You think any of them would feel that way? Let's show up at Jim Acosta's uh, place of where he goes and eats and stuff like that. We just go up in there. He don't know what we're going to do. He don't know if we're going to swing on him or not. All he knows, he's surrounded by a whole bunch of people yelling and pointing at him and have signs and stuff like, Jim Acosta, man, don't be coming up in these Trump rallies. You better do this. All of that stuff. We're just screaming at him, making him real uncomfortable, concerned. But we're not an angry mob. We're just peaceful protesters. Yeah. Why don't we just, you know, go to some of these liberal campuses and then when they have their liberal professors invite some of the liberal speakers to come, we just decide to come with black mask on, hoodies, and start flipping over cars and breaking windows out and stuff like that because we don't want to hear no more of this liberal garbage. We're sick of these snowflakes and they're talking hate speech when they talk about open borders. They're talking hate speech when they talk about uh, letting all these countries just do whatever they want to do to us and, and, and come in and, and, and we don't we can't vet them. We can't have that stupidity. See, and to us, when you're saying stupid stuff like that, and you're defending stupid policies, that's hate speech. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to break windows out and tear stuff up and make universities have to pay thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 just to bring in security to have someone speak. All because we want to have a peaceful protest. Yeah, yeah. So, or, or, hey, you know what? After Congress gets out, you know, we, we go up to Maxine Waters' place or whatever, wherever she's going, sitting down at nighttime, eating with her fam, you know? Hey, we show up at her house and stand outside because people have given us their their their, their phone numbers and their, their addresses. So we just show up at the crib. We're standing outside on the lawn, you know, just camping out, yelling, Maxine, get out here. We, we need to have a talk and stuff like that. Maybe we should just do that. Show up at public buildings, banging on walls. Let us in, let us in. These aren't angry mobs. Yes. So um, just in case you think that you're witnessing uh, angry mobs on the left, according to our buddies in the liberal media, your eyes have been lying to you. Your ears, they're lying to you. Your brain, pfft, let's not rely on that. I mean, what's that worth? Long as your brain thinks like the liberals want you to think, you're good. Yeah. See, but other than that, everything's a lie. Even if uh, your eyes and ears see it, you know, the Democrats are kind of like, Tony Montana, Scarface, where he said, you know, I always thought a truth, even when I lie. Yeah, that's how they are. They're, yeah, we're always telling the truth, even when we lie. And they lie a lot. Anyway, you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. Find me on Facebook. Find me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. Uh, my friend request thing is filled up. Uh, but follow me on Facebook, and you can send me an inbox if you want. Hit like, hit share. Make sure that you hit the notification button. If you want to support Kevin and Kevin's Corner, there's links in the bottom to do so. Check me out on Wednesday nights at 7.30, live radio blog talk show, and I do stream live on YouTube too. Um, and finally, check out Extreme Tees, y'all. They are my sponsor, and they have some wonderful paraphernalia. Check them out. Links in the bottom, and we will see you next time in Kevin's Corner. God bless.